using the touch probe with the Onefinity CNC Elite Series. On the tab labeled F3 on the top, select the probing icon button. Once this is open, we'll see our offsets for X, Y, and Z that will need to be adjusted according to our probe. We can measure our X and Y offsets by flipping the probe over and measuring the recessed area. Here we see our Y is 2.122, our X is 2.125. Lastly, we'll flip the probe on its side and measure the recessed area to give us our Z offset, 0 0.6055. Now with those measurements collected, we can enter them into the probing offsets. X is 2.1250, Y is 2.1220, and our Z is 0.6055 inches. Now remember, these will be slightly different based on the tolerance of your probe. Once you've entered all three of those values, we'll click Save Settings to make sure that those are stored for future use. At the very top of the probing page, we see Probe Diameter. This is the diameter of the cutter we will be using the probe with. In this case, it is 0.25 inches. Now we're ready to move the bit into place to probe it. You'll want the lowest point of your bit below the top of the probe, but not so that it will drag the material. The bit will follow the pattern and direction of the white arrow on the top right button of the probe diagram. Here we have a depiction of the probe and the red dots representing each of the places that you can touch off of the probe with your bit. We're only going to use the top right button for X and Y and the center button to find our Z height. Now that we know our probing commands, we'll press the XY probe button on the top right. It will come down from the top touch the top of the plate, move around the top right corner, then come back and touch the right side, giving us X and Y. Once done probing for X and Y, we can move the machine to the top of the probe, then press the center button to probe for Z. Once we're done probing Z, we can remove the magnet and the probe from our workpiece, and we're good to go. This concludes using the touch probe with the Onefinity CNC Elite Series.